Hello beautiful Aries, how are you today? Welcome to the channel for all new visitors and welcome back to my lovely subscribers. I'm so grateful for you visiting and supporting the channel. So if this does resonate with you, I hope that you will be so kind as to like, subscribe and share. All right, bottom of the deck, hanged man. Aries, you are undecided. You are trying to look at things from a different perspective. But you look good. You look very solid. Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. Look at that energy. How lovely is that? You're a little bit bored right now, but you have a really nice energy here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the shuffle. So in the recent past between you and your loved one, you have both been holding back, feeling defensive feeling very much as though you had to maintain some sort of boundary with one another. The current energy for you, Aries, is... Ooh, chariot card. Nice, beautiful, moving forward. Cancerian energy, very nurturing, really, you know, letting your guard down and, and being willing to really open up to one another currently. So that's great energy. Seven of Wands is... Sagittarius energy. It's, uh, excuse me. It's um, Leo energy. Okay, so let's see what we have here in the way your person views the situation with you right now. Ooh, look at this. We've got the King of Wands. That is Leo energy. Very, very good energy for the situation. We are in the time of romance. So your person's feeling very fired up. They're feeling very, very proud to be with you. They're really owning their feelings. They have a lot of dignity, a lot of pride. This is not a person who loves easily or quickly, but they do love you. They're very devoted to you. The lion, the pride, you're part of their family. Your person has fire in their belly to make things work between the two of you. How do they view you, Aries? How do they view you? They view you as a Capricorn queen, very down to earth, very nurturing, very loving, very kind, very practical. Uh, that is the mommy card, the wife card. That's somebody who's very devoted to family, friends. Uh, you're a hard worker. They really feel as though you have your, your act together. So I that's good energy. I love it. Okay. So let's see how they feel in their heart space for you, Aries. What is going on with your person and their heart space? Too many cards. Okay. So let's see. How are they feeling in their heart space for Aries? Oh, nice. Look at this. Ace of Cups. They love you. That is also, for many of you, a new beginning in love, okay? So it really, they're becoming more in touch with their feelings. So that's really nice energy that they've moved out of feeling defensive with you. Okay, how do they view the relationship going forward? How does your person view the relationship going forward? They really are uncertain. They do not know what the future is going to bring. They feel depressed. They feel fearful. They feel underwater. They're overwhelmed with their emotions. Your person is, quite honestly, very afraid. Very afraid that they may not have a victory with you. So the victory card is what you both want. That is a hidden mutual energy. That is Leo energy. You're both very fiery, very proud people. And both of you want to win here. Both of you want to overcome whatever made you both feel defensive, you know. To me, this looks like a lot of communication issues with you. It looks as though both of you do get all up in your head and get very, you're very proud people, which is, you should be, you know, you're, you come into this relationship with a lot of power. Let's see, we're going to look in, we're going to dive in as to what is causing this moon card. Uh, in a bit here. So let's see what spirit is advising for you right now. Throw caution. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to be a different card. Um, I get the world card. 
Spirit is advising you to close out a cycle. When we clarify, we're going to find out what the cycle is. But Spirit is saying, you know, you have a beautiful life together. You have a beautiful relationship. You know, the world card is great success. It's the culmination. It's the, the end of one situation in which you've had great success. Uh, the relationship in many ways is has been, you know, probably of duration for the majority of you. And it does show that spirit is saying, go move to your next cycle, be happy. Your person thinks the world of you, you think the world of them. You know, go forward with a lot of courage and confidence is what spirit is advising. So let's see what the outcome is for this week. These readings are timeless, so uh, whenever you find it, it is your reading. If it resonates, okay. Two of Wands, the two of you really have to make a decision. You're at a crossroads. When we look at the Two of Wands, we see uh, both people wanting to leave the past behind, to move forward. You want adventure. You want to travel. You may be going on a trip. It's all about having more fun in the relationship. So it's powerful energy. It speaks to the heart of the matter. Let's look and see why we have the hanged man here. So I see two people who really love each other, who want the relationship, who are more, moving forward rapidly. I see both of you letting your guard down as the week progresses. I see more, a little more open communication. You're still very guarded because look, when we look at the queen, we see her as being, you know, she has her eyes closed. She has her antenna up. She's not saying much but she wants something of value the ace of cups speaks for itself it's like in your heart space your person feels as though they've never loved anybody as much as they love you so why do we have the hanged man ah okay so both of you spy on each other you're both trying to run an intelligence it's like special ops 101 bring in the navy seals we have to find out what's going on with our partner you know if we if it takes covert operations we need to understand what's happening i don't see that as a bad card in this particular reading i really don't i just feel as though both of you need to collaborate more the advice here is collaborate, don't spy, don't, you know, if anybody's being sneaky here, it does look like both of you go on social media, you kind of skulk around, you kind of know what's going on, and then you just don't talk about it. So what Spirit is saying is your advice here to deal with the Seven of Swords in this hanged man energy. Collaborate, talk, be kinder, gentler to yourselves. You know, everything isn't a crisis here, and that's how it seems. Also, it looks like the two of you have been bored for a while. You've been holding back. It is time to make magic, my friends. You know, that is a card of what I call chemistry. We all call, we all know that chemistry is a real thing in love relationships, and the two of you have it. You know, we're getting Aries Queen, look at you. There you are in the reading. And the Nine of Cups just means that the two of you haven't had fun for a while together. So it's time to do that. Let's see, why do we have the Seven of Wands? Why are both feeling so defensive? So defensive. Okay. Nine of Swords, the two of you get all up in your head. You worry, you overthink things, you borrow trouble. <sighs> Again, we do get a white dove up here. So it's not as bad as it looks. Both of you are very capable, independent people. So, you know, what I'm seeing here is that you don't validate each other. That's what I get from this. It's like you, you're so both, you're both a little bit too much in your egos, you know, and it's understandable to be in your ego. It really is, but it doesn't help you. It doesn't serve you to be defensive. It doesn't serve you to have conflict so much instead of talking things through. So what we're seeing here is the energy in the recent past that both of you feel is a little bit attacked or under attacked by the other one. And it really is wounding both of you tremendously. It's really putting you both in this, this, I would say, really horrible Gemini energy. It's just, it's a relentless kind of energy. It's like you both don't sleep. And it looks like you're trying to sleep in the same bed for many of you. Okay, but you're both very powerful beings. So when we get the chariot card, we have, look at this, we have the sun reversed. Now, the sun reversed is, <clears throat> is not a bad card. What the sun reversed means is that there is a delay in gratification. 
the issue at hand here is that both of you are trying to not allow the other one to control you, but in the process, both of you have become so defensive here. And I feel like this energy is extending from the Seven of Wands. You both have become so defensive and you don't want to be controlled. So you're starting to feel like you need to control. Just if you're really aware of that energy, devil energy is really when I do a professional, you know, my readings for people, the devil energy, quite honestly, is much more simple than we tend to make it. Uh, the devil energy is really like um, large and in charge. You know, the devil just is a very controlling energy. So typically the question you have to ask yourself or what you're thinking is both of you think the other person is very controlling. So that energy has to be worked out. That's a toxicity in the relationship that needs help. And look at this energy here. We have the two of wands, you know, telling you that basically you have, it's just a decision. Make a decision to not be so defensive. Make a decision that, and trust yourself in your love decision. Both of you are capable. Both of you can leave this relationship. Both of you can have a new good life without each other. So you don't have to be defensive. That's absolutely the truth. You don't have to be controlling. You don't have to have power struggles because that's usually the manifestation in most relationships of the devil card is control and power struggles. We get the beautiful look at this energy your person views you as their soulmate they don't want anybody else they they when they look in your eyes when you're intimate together when you, times are really good your person just feels like they've never experienced anything like they experience with you again leo energy so we have gemini energy we have leo energy but you have to make the choice. You know, every day when we get up in our relationships, we really need to make the choice to be happy and to, to trust ourselves that we're with the right person, to trust them that they will listen to us and that they will not take things overly personal. Okay, so let's look at the Queen of Pentacles energy. All right, so your person feels that you get lost in your emotions, that you get really underwater, that you become very amped up, that, you know, in daily life, in business life, great, but they do feel that when it comes to the relationship, that you get yourself so worked up that they don't even know what to do about your feelings. They can't reach you. They feel as though you're so far underwater that, that you know, you can't hear what they're trying to say. Now, I'm not saying in any way that they're, your person is correct, <laughs> okay? They have a lot of respect for you, though. And it does show that because of this energy, your person feels very fearful, but they also love you immensely. They do feel as though you're going through a period of bad luck or, you know, a period of time in which destiny and the wheel of fortune is not turning in your favor. So you, they feel as though you might be having some money problems or just some work related problems because that's Capricorn energy. You have, you might be involved with the Taurus. We have the Taurus King here who loves you unconditionally. Um, we do see the, the dog, which is loyalty, the red, which is a passion, the library, which is you're dealing with somebody who's very bright, who knows how to manifest money. Tell us what this person, why do they feel such a new love or desire for a new beginning? They don't want you to walk away, boy, oh boy. They're really afraid you're going to walk away. And they don't want you to. They're not going to go anywhere. They are in it to win it. I do feel as though when the two of you get into tussles, though, that it gets really tough. Let's look and see what your person and why your person is feeling this Pisces energy of being fearful. It's like they're just underwater emotionally. The Ten of Cups. They want their happily ever after. Another Pisces energy card. The Ten of Cups reversed is like, but... Aries, we could have it all. Why aren't we having it all? Your person's mystified as to how to have your happily ever after. It is what they want. They don't know how to access this energy. Your person really, I do think, Aries, to be blunt about this, I feel as though your person has probably not had a great history of relationships. You know, they, they try to really approach relationships more like it's a friendship and 
quite honestly, yes, you need to be friends and lovers, but it looks as though they rely too much on friendship, you know, relationships. Because when we look at friendships, we're much more tolerant of our friends. We're much more tolerant. We don't have to pay the bills with them. We don't have to live with them day to day. You know, they're not going to get under our skin in the same way that a beloved, you know, lover um, you know, is with us. So your person has sort of these ideals that somehow your relationship can be very detached and yet intimate. So I feel very much that they're, they're sort of barking up the wrong tree. The good news is, is look at that for a clarifier. They are going to come out of this energy here as the week progresses. Yeah, the two of you need to have some fun here. That's really what I see as the answer. Remember why you fell in love to begin with is my advice here. The Six of Wands energy is all about winner, winner, chicken dinner. You know, you want to be out in public. You want to have fun. I love this energy. It's the epitome of loving each other. You, you only have eyes for one another right now. It is a card of great victory. You're not keeping your options open. Both of you are very dedicated to the relationship. You know, you both feel as though the other one is the, the winner. I even get the Knight of Cups reversed. So what it says to me when I get the Knight of Cups reversed is that, yes, you want romance, but you want a lot more than romance. You want this victory. You want this lover's card. You want the more advanced version that you've outgrown this sort of, you know, adolescent love. Now, it does show that you're both adolescent somewhat, but, <laughs> but because it shows that both of you have come to the relationship with some baggage here. But, you know, not the end of the world. If, we don't, if you don't have some baggage by the time you're 40, you've been living under a rock. I will say that, even by 30, if you haven't had some baggage. But it does show that the two of you have turned your romance upside down. There is a there's some ego energy here. What this really speaks to is that the two of you need to get out of your heads. You need to get back in touch. You need to be very grounded. And your person, you, you Aries, seem to understand this better than your person does. Your person's caught up in their emotions and what they should do and all of that. But I'm getting that you're grounded. If anybody's going to lead in this relationship, I, I believe it has to be you because you don't you look like you're dealing with a Taurus or more earth sign energy. Oh, look at this, the world card. Okay, so Spirit is actually saying that the two of you could buy a home together, but that you're about to travel a long distance away. That is ninth house energy when we, you know, when I look at the world card, and you look at the astrological wheel, the world is like international travel or travel like I use, I like to say more than a couple hundred miles from home, going someplace special, having a celebration. Now it's interesting because Spirit is saying that someday you might have a destination wedding, you may get married, but Spirit is saying that if you can stabilize this relationship, you can really spend a beautiful life together. And if you can't stabilize the relationship, then one cycle will close and another will begin, albeit successfully as individuals, but not so much, you know, in other ways. But that's a really beautiful energy here. What else do we have for that world card? Okay, not leaving, but both of you are mad. Woo! Both of you are mad at each other. Spirit's saying, you know, you need to you need to modify that. You need to have celebratory time together. But spirit is saying, you know, you need to get out of your head because both of you cut each other off in conversation. And if you continue to do that, you're going to destabilize the, the relationship and it will come to an end. And neither of you are intending that, but it can happen if you don't really take wise counsel from spirit. And, you know, you both know what the answers are. But the egos and the wounds of childhood or past relationships is haunting, especially your person. I don't think it's haunting you, Aries. I really don't. You're really stable here. You're, you know, you're very emotional because you, you feel as though you can't get through. You can't communicate properly with your person. You feel as though they get underwater and they don't listen. The Two of Wands energy, what is it? What's the crossroads? Giving up childish activity, behavior. You know, when the when the Page of Cups is reversed, it's like 
oh, I'm just going to be here and having a hissy fit, and I'm going to stay right there having a hissy fit. Well, if you do that, you're going to really be in a situation where the relationship has no viability. It looks as though the two of you may be at a crossroads if you continue, you know, with this energy, because the Page of Cups upright, at best, is flaky. But upside down, my God, there's not even any childish charm, you know. I mean, sometimes it's like you can't be silly together anymore. You're, you've lost your playfulness in the relationship. The Five of Cups also, look at that reverse. So that's a good card. I like the Five of Cups reverse. You need to be more playful together. That's really the advice I see here for you, Aries. Let's see. Have, some, you know, make a little love, do a little dance, get down tonight. But this card is a card of instability as we... As we go through, you know, to the end of the week, you still end up, it gets better. Temperance card says that you temper your relationship, that you're really able to um, come together. But it does speak to the fact that your relationship is not solid in this particular time. Let's look and see what the messages from the Love Oracle have to say for you, Aries. Really powerful reading. You have so much potential. But both of you are going to have to learn to, to work as a team. That's what I'm seeing. Self-care is a way you can clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Let's get a message for your partner. Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. So the message to spirit for your partner is that if you reject them, that at the end of the day, it wasn't meant to be. So I think both of you really want this, but you do not know if the two of you are a match. And I think you both think the same thing. So let's see what we have for the shamans. Dream advice for you, the dream oracle. Let's see what the advice is for both of you in this relationship. Okay. Netcaster, preparation, preparations come to fruition. All right, so, you know, treat this as a beautiful garden that you're in because that is where you're at. This can manifest, you can have this relationship. It can work out, but you're going to have to be mindful. All right, Aries, thank you so much. Leaving it there. Please like, subscribe, share if you like the video. And I love you so much, and I'm so grateful for your viewership. Thank you.